there is a war raging on right now, folks. The war on video games. And we need to take a stand and take back video games. We need to stop the killing of video games. And I know what you're saying to yourself. Holy crap, he's gone completely anti-woke. The Twitter journalists were right when they were accusing him of things. And no, <laughs> you're actually completely wrong. This has nothing to do with stuff like that about video games. This has to do with online components of video games and always online video games. And the removal of these services after you've actually paid to buy into this game and then buy things within it having it taken away from you and how we could potentially get some laws enacted to either alleviate this situation or to stop this situation from happening so who is the person behind this campaign what have they sort of laid out and how do they plan on achieving these things and what can we sort of do to help out this campaign that's what we're going to go over in today's video so calm down put your pitchforks down people subscribe if you're new but we have our friend here he goes by accursed farms is a youtube channel and i know what you're saying to yourself because it's the exact same thing i said this is if metal jesus and joe from game sack had a baby it, it's lit this is literally metal joseph here but metal joseph is leading us into the promised land because metal joseph is a person who likes video games probably just like you if you're watching this channel and as you can see here the largest campaign ever to stop publishers destroying gamings or games and this is kind of a thing that has been going on for a very long time it's something that we've talked about time and time again especially when we get into digital video games the removal of digital video games things that you have purchased things that you have bought are now being stripped away from you and it's not going to get any better if anything it's just going to continually to get worse so what sort of things can we do to sort of circumvent that and unfortunately you got to get governments involved in this so that's kind of what this whole campaign is kind of contingent on he uses the crew as basically a way to sort of you know start the fire with this because ubisoft's the crew hit a 12 million player milestone but of course the crew has now been taken away from us just one of the many video games that you could see here in this list and other lists that have been removed and you no longer have access to play those games, even if you paid full prices of it. Well, here's where things get interesting, because Ubisoft is based in France. When it comes to the U.S. government and all those sort of laws with consumers and stuff, it's very different than they are overseas. Overseas laws are very different when it comes to protecting the consumer. That's why you see a lot of companies have to change things within their eShop, allowing you to cancel you know, digital pre-orders on stuff, which it used to not be. Be that way but it's because overseas they have better protection of the consumers so i think that this is actually like a really good case and you know the the thing with the crew it's not the main contingency point of this thing it's more so about finding something to get footing in and then being able to sort of exploit that in a positive way to make this a thing that happens with video games in the future so i'm going to have his video link in the description box down below i highly suggest you watch metal joseph's video on this he goes very in depth sort of explaining the different avenues but there's also a website as well that i definitely want to go over because here's where things get very interesting because he's actually done like a lot of work to make this a reality and to you know make this something that people can somewhat easily do to get involved so stop killing games is the website stopkillinggames.com once again i'll have a link to it in the description box down below uh, down below i should say below tailspin an increasing number of video games are sold as goods but designed to be completely unplayable for everyone as soon as support ends the legality of this practice is untested worldwide and many governments do not have clear laws regarding these actions it is our goal to have the authorities examine this behavior and hopefully end it as it is an assault on both consumer rights Rights and preservation of media we are pursuing in two ways so basically action on the crew and then government petitioning so a lot of things to unpack there uh, but it, it's definitely something that's an interesting conversation because you don't see this really in any other forms of media in any other forms of arts or entertainment all forms of arts and entertainment are are thought very highly of you know paintings of stuff you know movies even music to some extent but then you have video games which no people 
in government positions usually care about, you know, because they're all older and stuff. Like, look at the people just in the United States, the people that are on Congress and Senate and stuff like that. They're all these old, old ass people who video games weren't a thing when they were a kid, which is crazy to think about because if you're over, you know, if you're 50 or younger, you know about video games. Like, you probably played video games, but we have all these old people that's that's a story for another day so this is stuff that never gets brought up this is stuff that's never looked at so when you take when you go to take action here you could see that there are different countries that you can choose so whatever country you are in or if it's applicable here or everywhere else we are in the united states so you could have different things that will allow you to do these things and he lays it all out for you on how to do it you contact ubisoft about shutting the crew down you go and you navigate to here like he, he lays everything out for you in an absolutely brilliant way and what you what the exact steps that you need to do are and how you can help this also you can contact the ftc also you can just share this on social media so i think you know somebody has to do something about this and you know whether it's successful or not because i do think it is it is a very uphill battle and i'm sure um he understands that you know he seems like an intelligent guy his channel is actually very good I, it's a newly discovered channel for me um you know definitely go show him some love but but i feel like this was a situation where somebody needed to try to do something somebody needed to get the word out there and get that mentality out there for people because as we are rapidly approaching this digital age this sort of stuff is going to be happening over and over again think about a game that's still sold at retailers think about a game that's still sold online when you purchase that game you expect to have that game for you know an infinite amount of time mo most of the time or at least a decent amount of time but what if tomorrow the servers go down for that game you're not entitled to a refund. You have no protection. You know, if if this doesn't make it so that, you know, servers don't go down, then maybe you make it so that, you know, companies have to put a limit on something where it's like, okay, well, this will be good until, you know, kind of like you see on milk. You buy a thing of milk and it has a date on there of when it expires. Something that says, hey, these servers are gonna be up for at least this long. So that way the consumer knows right off the bat that, hey, okay, this is something that's going to last until this point in time. And if it goes beyond that, then it's, you know, you're buying it at your own risk. Something needs to be done about this. And honestly, I applaud this. The amount of work that went into this whole thing and the ability to find little loopholes like the crew that can sort of exploit this in a, in a positive way in order to get people thinking about these things. And most importantly, get people that have power to think about these things because the only way anything is going to change with this is if consumers speak up is if people speak up about this think about when they were taking down the ps3 and the ps um uh vita stuff you know pe people fought against that and you know they extended it with sony so as long as you're being respectful as long as you're you know being within the rules like don't you know try to freaking go crazy and like get a tank and like go to congress and be like save our video games but like if, if you're doing the right thing if you're going about it in the proper way you're going through the right channels and you're just trying to create a discussion about it discussion is the most beautiful thing we have as a society even though it's kind of a lost thing nowadays so i highly recommend you guys go to this website he's got an faq explaining everything you know what the sort of caveats are what we can do to sort of stop this stuff what we could do to sort of circumvent this stuff and why you know risks rewards it, it's very very in-depth but i just wanted to highlight this today because i think this is a positive thing that more people need to be aware about so shout outs to everyone involved in this i'm glad that i can use my voice to kind of speak up about this and to hope to get the word out there. Like I said, there will be links in the description box down below on how to get to their YouTube channel, how to check out that video, how to check out the website and the things that you can do to hopefully make a difference, you know, to, to make a difference in this video game landscape that so many of us love, so many of us have passion for, and so many of us don't want to see go down or continue to go down really this predatory route. So yeah.
Uh, that's all I got to say about this. Let me know what you think about it, though, in the comment section down below. I know there's going to be a lot of people that are like, oh, GT, this isn't a fight worth fighting. And, like, I get it if you feel that way, but it's not about completely fixing the problem. It's more so, at least in my vision, it's more so about bringing attention to the problem so that maybe something can be done. Maybe something can be addressed. Maybe somebody sits down and says, hey, you know what? This is a little bit funky. There is something we need to do about this to protect consumers when they're buying these products. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. Go show them some love in the, or in the description box down below. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Later.